Come to my Because all my friends are make believe. Hi, friend. I'm so glad you decided to come back. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Got some fun stuff to do. I'm going to teach you some more art and some other things. So let's get right to it. Come on. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is show you a magic trick. Okay, so here as you can see, I have the four aces, and down here I have the rest of the deck. Now these four aces are going to represent four bank robbers, and the deck will represent the bank. <clears throat> now this is what's going to happen. All four robbers are going to go to the top of the bank just like that and the leader of the robbers says to the first robber alright you I want you to go to the first floor get all the cash you can find down there bring it back up here alright then the boss says to the second guy I want you to go to the second floor I want you to empty out all the vaults that are on the second floor and so he goes down to the second floor he says to the third robber I want you to go to the third floor and I want you to empty out every single safety deposit box you can find there and then come back up. He says, I'll wait here on top in case the police come. Okay, so then the police started coming up the street and so the leader of the robbers used his walkie-talkie to call the other robbers and tell them the police are coming, get up to the roof right now. So they all got in the roof and they pressed the elevator button And all four robbers came back to the roof of the bank. Just like that. All right. Now I'll show you how you can do that and amaze your other friends. Okay, this is what you want to do. You want to get the deck of cards when no one's looking and you want to look through it and pull out all four of the aces after you found all four of the aces you're going to take three other cards it doesn't matter what cards you take they don't matter except for to help pull off the trick alright here's the setup you take the four aces and you take the three irrelevant cards and you stick them behind the back ace and cover them with that ace very good to make sure that no one will see that there are cards back there alright when you have it lined up perfectly you're ready to perform the trick alright so there you go you have one two three four aces and behind the last ace you have three other cards but the audience will think you only have four. So you show everybody the four aces and you explain to them what you're gonna do just like I had did. And then you just group them up, put them down on top of the deck, and one by one as you tell the story you pull them off and they're gonna be the cards that don't matter that she chose before you perform the trick. And those will go in the middle of the deck. And so when you're ready to 
make the magic happen. It's all ready to go. You can just press the middle or you can have somebody else press the middle so they feel like they're a part. And then you're ready to show that all four aces hopped back to the top of the deck. Now remember, a good magician always practices his tricks until he gets them perfect before he shows anybody. So practice, 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 and when you think you're ready, amaze someone you know. That was the first trick I ever learned. Now another uh, thing about magic is magicians never share their secrets with anybody keep it to yourself oh hey last time you met my cats they're very fun cats they each have their own individual personality and that those individual personalities have won them their own spot on my show so I'm very glad to present to you the Buddy and Magic Show. Special Agent of Sun for today. You'll see soon. The War of the What's so great about JCP Cash? No exclusions. With JCP Cash, for 10, 15, or $20 off on the spot, so why? And unlike other stores, we don't make you come back to save. Get up to $20 off with no exclusion. We make that affordable. You make it yours. JC Penny. How I Met Your Mother will be right back. Fox Thursday, the mysterious death team. This girl was used as a punching bag. Thanks by painful memories for Brennan. She's terrified. I know how it feels not to trust him. Thursday at 9 on KTVU Fox 2. Jill is the glue that holds the Beelers together, but her reunion's only chance of harmony hinges on an arsenal of distractions. Distractions Las Vegas was happy to provide. No one noticed the chill between Diane and her brother at minus five. And when Mark Jr. has to have his inheritance early at the Penske Win Ferrari dealership, Jill suggested he take a leap off a high building. So they went to the stratosphere. Whee! Before ending the night with chocolate covering everything at Max Brenner's, where Jill tasted sweet victory. And revolt against boring at visitlasvegas.com. Well, my friend, somehow the art piece we were working on last time has disappeared and I can't find it. So instead, before you go, I'd like to show you some other art techniques that might help you out. I'm going to teach you how to make things look somewhat three-dimensional. We're going to start with a cube. So we're going to draw a square onto the page because you always start with basic shapes. And there you go. And there you have a square just like that. In order to make that square look like a three-dimensional cube, you need to draw the rest of the cube and you make, need to make it look like it's going away from the original square and back into the page. Now the way you want to do that is you want to draw your lines um, on a diagonal to one or the other sides 
away from the square just like that a little bit off and to make it look like it's going back into the page what you'll want to do is when you draw the second line at the corner here you'll want to kind of bring it so it's going back towards the other line slightly so eventually somewhere off in the distance they would connect if they met that's called a vanishing point but we're not going to go through all that technical stuff we'll just do this simple and easy so you can get started and practice on this we want them if we can to look like they're going to meet all together at the same spot so you don't want to curve it too much in that's good enough okay and then you'll connect the lines with straight lines straight across just like this and it doesn't quite connect so I'm going to draw it a little bit longer and then you're going to do a straight line from this back corner that goes all the way down to the bottom line just like that and now you have a cube well something close to a cube anyway it's a little bit wonky but that's okay we're just practicing we're just learning all right so now you have the cube on the page uh, you might want to looks pretty three-dimensional you know you could turn that into a lot of things put some doors windows make it a house you could put some letters on it make it a block whatever you want um, but I'm just going to show you how to add a little bit more definition to that and, and to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade some spots in a little bit so I'm just going to darken in the corners back here a little bit on this top piece of the cube and on the side of the cube I'm going to do the same thing just kind of match right there make it look like there's you know, some depth, some shadow to it that makes it just look more like it's uh, sticking up into the page, off to the page three dimensional alright you know that's good enough you could uh, experiment and you know just shade in different spots and see what it looks like see what you like and do what you want well it's time again that I have to let you leave but I'm really glad you came over again I have to get some stuff done it's been real fun and I hope you'll come back again thank you and I, I hope you had as much fun as I did Take care, my friend.